In this video I'm going to talk to you about uncertainty. So just want to think about the concept of numbers and measurements to start with. So in maths we deal with numbers and numbers are exact. So if I say we need to use the number 2, that is 2.0, it's exactly 2. So it's 2.000, just all zeros, okay? Now in science we deal with measurements and measurements are not exact. So if I give you the number 2, it will have an error or an uncertainty associated with it and we also need to have units. So any measurement that we do in science needs to have a magnitude, so that's our 2.00. It needs to have a plus or minus uncertainty, sometimes referred to as the error, and we also need units. Okay, so if we take this example where we've got a rectangle and we take the measurements across the width of this, uh, we're going to label this A and it's 175.3 centimetres plus or minus 2.7 centimetres for the uncertainty. We can also write this down as A equals 175.3 centimetres delta A, representing the uncertainty, equals 2.7 centimetres. Now for the height of this rectangle we can say that this is B and it equals 101.6 centimetres plus or minus 1.2 centimetres. And again, we can write this down. This is equivalent. Uh, B equals 101.6 centimetres. Delta B for the uncertainty in B is 1.2 centimetres. So we're going to stick with this example and we're going to look at a number of ways that we can use this information and these measurements. So the first one is what is the sum of these two measurements? So we're going to have the value Z as being the sum of these two and it's simply A plus B. So that's fairly straightforward but also we'd like to know what is the uncertainty in Z. So what's delta Z? So if we look at this, Z equals A plus B. Uh, so we can put the numbers into this and get a value. Uh, and we refer to this as a linear combination. So we say delta Z squared equals delta A squared plus delta B squared. That's the equation we need to use. If we put all of this information in, we will get a value. So 2.7 squared plus 1.2 squared and take the square root of both sides equals 3.0 centimetres. So another example uh, would be if we want to know the difference between the two measurements. So that would just be Z equals A minus B. And again, we'd need to think about the delta Z. So in this case, again, it's fairly straightforward to work out the value of Z. And again, we consider this to be a linear combination. So linear combinations are anything to do with adding or subtracting values. And the formula we use for this is delta Z squared equals delta A squared plus delta B squared. Again, we've got these values. We can put those in, rearrange, and we get the value 3. And you'll notice this is the same as when we added the two values. So the, the errors always accumulate. So even though we're subtracting a, uh, B from A, we still add up the errors. That's really important to note. OK, final example then. Uh, what is the perimeter of the rectangle? And so we need to do Z equals 2A plus 2B. And also, again, we, we want to know what's the uncertainty in that value. So this time we need to use a slightly different equation where we have these constants. We've got K subscript A and K subscript B, which are the constants that get used to multiply up A and B. And again, this is a linear combination, but it's involving these extra multipliers. And the equation that we need this time is delta Z squared equals KA times delta A squared plus KB times delta B squared. And we've put the numbers in. It's 2 this time for the, for the constants. We put the values in, we can get the perimeter. We know delta A and delta B, so we can put those in with the correct multipliers, which is 2 in this case. Rearrange, and then we can work out the value for delta Z. Okay, final word on this then. So in general, if we're adding up values with multipliers, then the equation is here, and that can be whether we're adding them or subtracting them. And for any extra terms that we add on, we just add on the extra error terms. Now, if we have the situation where all these multipliers are just equal to 1, then this simplifies down to this, and the error equation, the, the propagation of uncertainty, just simplifies down to this. Okay, so that's been a video about uncertainty, focusing on linear combinations.